Today we will be going over tangent and cotangent graphs. Now, for a while, these were the hardest graphs for me to do. But after learning some tips and getting the hang of it, I realized that it's actually not that difficult. Hopefully, some of the tips I learned can help you too. Okay, so we're going to start with the first problem. And this problem is y equals 1 third tangent to x. Now, this may look intimidating at first, but let's break it down into a few parts. So this part, this number right here is our amplitude. Typically, amplitude is the absolute value of the coefficient here. And we all know that the amplitude of one third equals, of course, one third. So that's our amplitude. Now, for tangent, to, in order to find the asymptotes, which is a very important part of graphing tangent, what we have to do is we have to set this whole area, the parentheses here, what's in the parentheses, to negative pi over 2 and also pi over 2, positive pi over 2. This will give us our two asymptotes. So let me grab another color here. Make this a little bigger. All right. So in order to find the asymptote, we have to isolate the x. So an easy way for me to divide accurately without the use of a calculator is to just multiply by its reciprocal. And the reciprocal of 2 is 1 half. So when we multiply that together, negative pi times 1, that's negative pi, 2 times 2 is 4. So that is our first asymptote. All right. Now, this one, same thing. You divide by 2 to isolate the x. x equals pi over 2 multiplied by the reciprocal. And then you'll get pi times 1, that's pi, 2 times 2, that's 4. So now we have our two asymptotes. All right, now there are, there are two ways to solve for period. One is the algebraic way, which is basically pi divided by k, and k is, let me show you, k is this number. All right, it's this coefficient here before the x. So we're going to substitute in k with 2, and that's our period, okay? So now we have our asymptotes, our two asymptotes, and our period, and our amplitude, even though that doesn't really come in. So we're now ready to graph this with the information we know. Okay, so let me just rewrite this and now we are going to graph with the information we know. Alright, our asymptotes are negative pi over 4 and positive pi over 4. Alright, our period is pi over 2. And I'm going to show you how to find the period by just looking at the graph in a moment. So let's graph this. Okay, x 
excuse the non-straightness of this. I'm drawing with my mouse. <laughs> Ooh, let me try. Let me start over. All right, let's fix this. All right, a little better. So the intervals were probably the hardest part for me to grasp. But then I realized that typically the intervals of a tangent graph, your basic numbers here, pi over 4, um, pi over 2, 3 pi over 4, and then finally pi. And then we're going to repeat this, right? Negative pi over 4 negative pi over 2, 3 pi over 4, and finally, negative, sorry, and then finally, negative pi. So, need another color here. We know that our asymptotes are negative pi over 4 and pi over 4. So they're going to go here, all right, and asymptotes are typically drawn dashed, and okay, now this, this one, all right, so the x intercept is always the point in between the asymptotes. All right, so the point in between negative pi over 4 and pi over 4 is 0. And from there, we can now draw our tangent graph. All right. And in order to find the period, all right, through a graph, is you just look at the distance between the two asymptotes. So we see that, let's, let's find the distance between the two asymptotes. And in order to do that, you just do pi over 4 plus pi over 4. Combine, and it's 2 pi over 4. Finally, you break this down and then you finally get pi over 2. And you'll notice that it matches, all right? So this is a good way to check if your math algebraically was good in finding the period if you just look at your graph and then measure out the period. So in order to you know keep going, all you have to do is see the distance here. You just copy that distance. So if you move over, pi over 2, 3 pi over 4 will be the location of our next asymptote. Right? In between those points, we'll get our x-intercept will be pi over 2. And we're going to draw our graph again. And remember... Tangent always falls to the left, rises to the right. And basically, that's our, our problem. Hopefully, it helped. And we're, we're going to try example two in the next video.